Hello everyone. Welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled SAP PLM Recipe Development, Enabling Sustainable Design for the Process Industries. During this webinar, jointly sponsored by SAP and LeverX, you will see the key capabilities of the SAP PLM Recipe Development Solution with a focus on understanding how SAP Recipe Development can help your organization and development group work smarter with faster simplification of key product innovation activities. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Okay, good morning everybody. A um, little discussion about today. Um, in the brief beginning of part of this session, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, recipe development, at, not even just recipe development, but really some of the challenges that we at SAP have been evaluating in terms of how we've established our solution in this space. Um, so let's talk a little bit around the background in terms of how we got where we're at, and then we'll talk, we can move into the actual solution, and Dave will give us kind of an overview and a, and a quick demo of some of the key capabilities of the solution. Um, I think most of us would realize the fact at this point in time we're running into a situation where product development in the process industry space has become so much more complicated than it was as little as even three to five years ago. There's a number of different influencing factors that are kind of messing around with us, making things so much more complicated and putting so much more pressure on the product development organization. You have a high degree of empowered customers. You've got lots of people expecting lots of, of innovation and hitting the target every single time. You're working with a global divide, uh, development as well as um, research environment. So you're in a position where you might be manufacturing in various different parts of the world, and you're developing in other parts of the world and you're put in a position where you need to try to figure out how to manage that, you know, that single source of the truth becomes so much more relevant than it ever once did. And a lot of the reason behind that is our third major reason is the dynamic product regulations. Um, if you look at the emergence in terms of industry, excuse me, um, uh, regions such as India or China or Brazil, you look at an environment that had very limited regulation as little as three to five years ago and now has very uh, stringent regulations, very similar to what we're used to seeing in the North American and European marketplace. And trying to keep all these different facts straight makes it very difficult. On top of all of this, you want to be put into a position, I get my slides to work, there they go, people expect you to go faster. Um, there's this constant need to basically be innovating, you know, at a, at a pace that is um, outpacing anything we've seen in history. Um, you know, being able to squeeze literally everything out of that. And it puts you in a position that makes it very, very difficult to make sure that you're doing the right things, the right time with all the right people. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Alan. And I'm going to go ahead and now and, and perform a little demonstration and cover some of the topics that Dan, you know, has wonderfully talked about earlier in, in his overview. I'm logged into the SAP PLM Recipe Development uh, System. So here you can see on this upper tab, I'm, I'm in Recipe Development. Over on the, on the left-hand side in the dark blue, you can see all the, all the objects that are, you can work with. So I'm on the landing page, which is the work overview, so that you can see in the center screen. And then you can change it to a recipe screen, a building block screen, a specification screen, etc. So that center screen will then become a recipe dependent screen, a building block screen, etc. Down below, you can see the services for all the objects, create, change, display, recipes, building blocks, specifications, etc. So you can just scroll up and down on this left-hand side and you can see it's a very rich menu. So th these menus can be configured so that you're providing just enough information for the end user to work with. Um, so one of the things Dan talked about was you know, the ability that our customers have, are, are desiring of being able to put information in quickly and easily into the system. So one of the ways SAP is, is helping to accomplish this is use of what's called a fast entry screen. So over here under specification, I'm, I've selected create specification using fast entry screen. So let me select that. So here you can see we have fast entry screen. 
opens up. Um, I've got a change number is already predefined as from the te my te my overall uh, template, and I'm going to use a example with all features. And I'm going to hit continue. So now what the system is going to do, it's going to load this template, and you can see here the template's loaded, and I'll put in some, some information. So I need to put in the, a rating, it's a public rating. I'm going to put in a, this is a validity year for the world. I'm going to put in a status and process. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> let's take a look forward into the future. So a couple things about what Dave was showing and recipe development in general. Um, a couple of things. It, recipe development is was released with Enhanced Impact 5 of ECC 6. Um, so if you're not familiar with all the ner numbering and all that kind of stuff, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> but it is uh, based upon the latest releases of, of um, the ECC component. It is not a separate standalone system. Uh, the UIs that you are seeing and the UIs that David has been showing you this morning have been based upon um, their alternative user experiences to get to the same ECC client. So uh, if you think of the traditional transaction way as being one way to get into the system, this is a different way. Um, the UIs were designed with uh, formulators and product development people in mind specifically. Um, the latest release that is available was actually Enhanced Impact 7, which has been in general availability for almost a year now. It came out August of last year. 